Hello friends, welcome to bsvtrainings.com. My name is Sumit and in this video, I am going to demonstrate you how to build a project in Maven. As in my previous video, I explained you how to install and configure Maven on a Linux system. So let's have a look the same configuration system which we have configured. So that's the Linux system where I have configured my Maven. So let's check whether Maven is configured or not. So for this, I'm going to pass a command MVN version and you can see the Maven has been configured. That's Apache Maven, which has a 3.3.9 version, which has been configured at the specific location. That's the location. That's the Java version, which I will be using on my system. That's a Java home and default location and operating system and operating system version. So, on. so like this, we will be getting all the information about the current operating system as well as the Java and Maven because for in Maven, Java is mandatory. Java is required. So let's start building a project in Maven. So first of all, I'm going to create a directory on my desktop. So I pass the command ls. So I have got a desktop here. So cd desktop. I create mkdir test project. So this creates a directory named as test project. I moved into that test project. I get into test project. And here I'm going to pass a command and that command is mvn archetype colon generate. Basically, this will be going to create a project. So when we press enter, it will install the plugins, few plugins. If you are running this command first time, the Maven will automatically download the artifacts which is required, which is uh, from the repository which is required which is need to be installed on the current system for the local repository because I have already passed this command earlier so that's why it is not downloading all those artifacts again so those plugins it will not be going to download so the plugins I have the here the plugins has already been installed and stored on my local repository so it will be generating a project and in interactive mode. It will take some time. And now you can see here it's giving me some figure here. That's 817 and it's saying choose a number of apply filters or format group ID artifact ID case sensitive contain. So basically this is artifact ID. Now the number 817 817 represents the artifact and if So 817 artifact, I'll go up, I'll scroll up for to 817. And here we are 817. 817 is basically it's org.apache.maven.archtype. So maven archetype quick start and archetype which contains a sample maven project. So this is the default number. Now these numbers, every number has got few specifications like 819, 820, 821. So basically these are archetypes. So these archetype is a Maven project templates, tool bits. And archetype is defined as an original pattern or model from which all other things of the same kinds are made. Or in simple term, it is a model that news uh, that basically that to know that what do you want to instruct your project or what do we need to create your project so I'm going to, I will be going to I mean I will be using the default number the artifact number 813 so if you want to go for a dot net simple or if you want to go for uh, and fund and fund or olingo or any other uh, any other plugins you want to use or any other artifact you want to use so you can select that particular number you can pass that number where it is asking for the number so i want to go for this default number and the default number is 817 so i'm i want to go with default archetype so i press enter 
now it will be asking for version so version i'm i'll go with the latest version the latest version is number 6 1.1 so i pass number 6 here now it will be asking few properties so first it will ask for the group id so i pass the group id org dot bisp dot maven maven project artifact id basically artifact id will be the name of the uh, zar with uh, basically this this will be the name of the zar with respect to the version okay So without version, so I'll write here. I give a name, Maven Test App. That will be the name of the ZAR file which will be going to create. So enter. Next, I'll go with the default version, snapshot version that that is 1.0, and the package is the org dot bisp dot Maven project. This will be the package. you can see this package define when we have the library when we are going to create a java file or a java folder so i press enter so asking for confirmation so i press yes and enter and you can see here i got a message build success and the pack the folder has been the project has been created so uh, let's look into that project so a test project and you see i'm getting a maven test app so that was the uh, basically that was the artifact id which we have defined the maven test app and within this directory within this maven test app if i open this there are two folders we have src and we have pom.xml if i if i look at this src folder in src folder within main if within src there are two folders main and test so in main all the classes all the java all the java programs will be uh, created within this main folder in java org bis maven project and app.java that's the app.java file and in test within test package all the uh, test classes will be stored within this test folder app test.java if i open this you can see that's the test unit test for simple so the testing will be done as i have told you that maven done uh, maven creates a project maven uh, done the testing automatically maven loads the project done the testing creates all the documentation by itself so and if you look at the main folder main java org bis maven project app dot java if i open this that's a java class that's a class app which contains a simple string hello world instead of hello world i can say i can write here welcome to bisp maven project and you can see the package which we have defined over there org dot bis dot maven project so i'll save it I'll save it and close it. And now, if you look at this pom dot xml, so what does this pom dot xml file contain? So, if we open this pom dot xml file, this pom dot xml file it contains the information about the package, it information about the project. For example, these are the informations which we have. mention uh, which we have already mentioned while building the project so group id we define this that's the group id artifact id version and packaging name is maven test app url is http maven.apache.org and that's the dependency basically dependencies for unit testing for testing so these are the so all the testing packages will be stored over here the for testing within dependency folder now 
I want to compile this project because finally I want to end up with a ZAR file so that I can share with share it with my users so that they can test it. So in order to do that, I need to compile the project. So in to compile the project, the first thing we have to do is we need to get to the package. We need to get to the directory where we have pom.xml file. So I list ls and cd maven test app. And now ls, so we have got two files, src folder and pom.xml file. Now to compile this project, I simply write mvn compile. So Maven will take care of downloading all the related dependencies that we have mentioned in pom.xml. And once it is done, we don't need to compile each and every class. So if we have 100 classes in our folder, all the classes will be compiled, compiled automatically. Uh, we don't have to compile them explicitly and also we don't need to test them explicitly because all the testing and compilation will be done by a simple by a single command. So you can see a new folder has been created named as target. So if I look at this target, so there are two packages, two more directories, classes and Maven status in Maven status compiler plugin. And if I say classes, we have org. So all the classes see this. So that Java class has been compiled and stored within a class. So let's suppose if we have hundreds of classes or hundred of classes within uh, SRC package within main BISP Maven project. If we have hundred of Java classes, all the classes will be compiled all together. We don't have to compile the classes explicitly one by one. So that will be taken care by Maven itself. Now, finally, I want to package this folder. I want to package this project. So to package, I pass a command MVN package. So I run MVN package and this will create a package. Basically, this will create a ZAR file and you see I got a message success message and a ZAR file has been built at the specific location home BISP desktop to Maven test target Maven test app 1.0 snapshot dot ZAR so target and that's the ZAR file. Now I can share this ZAR file with my users. So this ZAR file contains all the details, all the information. And this by using this ZAR file, we can compile any project. So along with this, what it has done that it has also run the J unit test classes. So Maven would run all the test cases every time it compiles. So we don't have to worry about the newly running test cases. Now let's execute the czar and see the output. So to execute the czar, the command is Java minus CP dot slash the target slash the name of the czar file. So it's at Maven test app, Maven test app 1.0 slash snapshot dot czar and I want to check my uh, I want to run my app class so that app class exists within um, the location. So basically the location is org bis maven project and app dot class. I would like to compile this. So I pass command org dot bisp dot maven project dot name of the class. So the name of the class here is and as soon as I press enter, I got a message. Welcome to BISP Maven project. So you see the project has been compiled successfully and I would be able to see the output. So that's how we can create a project, how to compile a project, how to package a project, how to create a czar file and how to test the czar to see the output. So that's all in this video. I hope you found this video interesting and if you like this video, don't forget to press the thumb icon. 
if you want to know more information on Maven and DevOps, you can subscribe our YouTube channel. Keep watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.